box your daily dose of health and medical news i'm mr zaman and today i'm going to talk about link between covid-19 vaccination and breakthrough infections complications in cancer patients patients with cancer are known to have increased risk of covid-19 complications including death in a recent study published in jama oncology the researchers have found that patients with cancer had greater risk of sars-cov-2 infection and worse outcomes than patients without cancer and the risk was highest for patients with hematologic cancer and any patients with cancer receiving active treatment it was also found that triple vaccination was associated with lower risk of poor outcomes Reports have shown reduced sero response following vaccination in patients with cancer. As such in the study the team hypothesized that patients with cancer have worse outcome after vaccination with greater breakthrough infections and worse covid-19 outcomes particularly for patients with hematologic cancer. In this last population based cohort study they set out to examine the relative risk of SARS-CoV-2 breakthrough infections and covid-19 outcomes in vaccinated patients with cancer versus matched non-cancer controls and separately in those with hematologic cancer versus solid cancer. They included linked administrative databases in Ontario, Canada in residents 18 years and older who received covid-19 vaccination. Three match groups were identified. One is to four match for patients with hematologic and solid cancer to non-cancer controls. One is to one match between patients with hematologic and patients with solid cancer. They found that COVID-19 severe outcomes were significantly higher in patients with cancer compared to patients without cancer. The risk of severe outcomes was higher among patients with hematologic cancer than patients with solid cancer. Patients receiving active treatment had a further heightened risk for COVID-19 severe outcomes, particularly those who received anti-CD20 therapy. Third vaccination dose was associated with lower infection and COVID-19 complications except for patients receiving anti-CD20 therapy. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.